Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. Hello, Arijit. Uh, you posted a question on our uh, blog uh, regarding um, sales tax. So the question is, while going through the AP and AR tutorial, the sales tax portion was not covered. How do we incorporate that? Please advise. Arijit Chuck Rock Borti. I hope I uh, pronounced your name right. All right, well, Arijit, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to incorporate sales tax portion. Okay, it's pretty simple. So uh, here it goes. All right, so we're here in QuickBooks, and I'm going to go ahead and go under Edit and hit Preferences. All right, so we're in Preferences, and I'm going to go to Sales Tax, go up to Company Preference. Right now, it's under No. Do you charge sales tax? The answer is yes. Okay, and then basically from here, the okay, next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much add a new sales tax item. And we're going to call this California tax or California state or California sales. I think that sounds even better. Yes, that's right. You've guessed it. I'm from California. What's up, dudes? All right. So, description. Uh, we have uh, sales tax. That's fine. I think uh, we're at back to 8.5 around here. And State Board of Equalization, I believe that's who it is. Quick Add, hit OK. And there you go, so that's the next step right there. All right, and once we're done with that, then we can look at the rest of the options. Uh, taxable Item Code, I just leave that standard. I leave this standard right here. I uh, leave this checked off. So this area I pretty much don't mess with. Uh, when do you owe sales tax? Uh, I run everything on a cash basis versus accrual personally, so I would change it upon receipt of payment. Um, and over here it says, when do you pay sales tax? Uh, over here in California, we pretty much do it quarterly, but it all depends what you do. You could do it monthly, annually, so this is how I'm going to have it right here. And I'm going to hit OK, and this little pop-up box came up. Make all existing customers taxable. Uh, sure, why not? And and you may not want to do that, depending on what kind of business you have. Uh, if I'm dealing with people out of state, uh, then I'm not going to make all of them taxable. Only the ones from California are going to be taxable. So me personally, I'm actually going to uncheck that. Make all existing non-inventory and inventory parts taxable. This I'm going to leave yes because inventory, it all depends who I'm selling it to. So for an inventory... There you have it, service. Usually you don't charge sales tax depending on what you're doing. Uh, but this is how I'm going to do it right here. And uh, let's see how it looks like on a sales receipt or invoice. All right, Arajit. Uh, this should be the last uh, screen over here for me to show you. I think this should answer all your questions. So over here at a sales receipt, I'm just going to pick any customer right here. And then I'm going to scroll over. Let's say uh, they paid us with um, credit card. So whatever that may be, we're going to do credit card. And then I'm going to scoot this up a little bit so we can see this. And then item. I'm going to go ahead and pick. Uh, do we even have an item that's... Uh, here we go. Let's pick this item over here. All right. And quantity is one. I'm going to say this was $100. Okay. And as you can see to the right, it defaulted to tax. So right away I got the 8.25%. 108.25. Now if I change this to non-taxable, then there you have it. It's only $100. Doesn't charge the tax. And that should pretty much do it. All right, you guys. You have any other questions regarding this? Anything else? Please visit the forum. Let me show you the forum, you guys. All right, this is where to go at. Right over here, forum. Come down over here, sign up, post a question. 
in the right section. And as you can see over here, here's the right section. You got all these different sections you can report questions and I'll do you a video just like this. Take care you guys. Bye. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.